Hi guys, in today's video we are going to be taking a look at 5 awesome easter eggs you may have missed in Plants vs Zombies Battle for Neighbourville. As usual, just before we begin, remember to hit those like and subscribe buttons if you enjoy the content on this channel and want to help it grow. Anyway, let's get started. Right, so let's start off strong with one of the coolest easter eggs in my opinion, and this one can be found on the plant side of Giddy Park. Now this easter egg can be done with any character, but I do recommend using Cactus, and I'll explain in a minute why. So what you need to do is head over to Rooks, and you'll see all of these bookshelves, and on one of these bookshelves, the one on the left nearest to Rooks, you will see this garlic toy. We need to grab this, so head over to Rooks, jump on his book, which I'm sure he won't be too thrilled about, jump on the canopy and then jump and hold the activate button, so either X for Xbox, Square for PS4 or whatever key you have set as active on PC. Once you have done this, you need to use your garlic drone and head to a position where you can see the dam. Also you will hear this sort of tidal wave sound effect if it has worked. And as you get inside of the dam, you will see this giant garlic, and it will disappear after a couple of seconds. This is why I suggested using cactus, as the garlic drone is pretty fast, you'll get a great view, and plus, it's a giant garlic. Now, if for some reason you're not quick enough to see the garlic, you'll have to try again, but the little garlic only appears once in each server. So to do it again, you need to reload Giddy Park, and the best way to do this is by going to the world options, which are found in the giant globe, and press the reload giddy park option. Now you may have noticed the giant garlic actually looks different to the garlic drone and you would be correct. That's because this is a reference to the garlic plant you can use in the mobile Plants vs Zombies games. Moving on to number two, so this one is a reference to a more recent film and you'll know exactly which one as soon as you see it. So this one can be found on the Peachy District Turf Takeover map and you need to be on the Zombies team as the Easter Egg is located in the sewers which is the Zombie Spawn Room. So inside here you will find a red balloon sticking out of a drain pipe and if you don't already know this reference it is referring to the famous drain scene in IT. Just a quick side note as well, this balloon can be popped and it bursts into confetti, so nothing to be scared of. So Easter Egg number 3 can be found in either the Z-Tech Factory multiplayer map or in the Weirding Woods PvE region, and this Easter Egg can be found inside the factory itself. So to get to this you need to be in front of the factory, go through the doorway on the right, turn left, then turn right, and finally one more left and you will see on your right a cone machine. Now this cone machine can be seen to be really similar and is likely a reference to the bucket dispenser found in Viscera Cleanup Detail. This is a game set after an alien invasion on a facility and you are a cleaner having to clean up the mess. The bucket dispenser is one of the main machines you have to have access to throughout the game and it gives you many a bucket and other items. Now number 4 isn't technically a easter egg but I just wanted to include it as we are going to be getting a new wizard zombie character in March and this one is just a sneak peek at what the character is going to look like. So literally right next to the easter egg I just showed you, you can come across Tim. Just head into the factory again and go forward and you will eventually come to a room where Tim can be found. And Tim is a wizard zombie and it's likely the new character will be very similar to Tim as he is the only named zombie character with this character model. It's different to all the others in game. So this one was just a little sneak peek at the new character. I imagine the wizard zombie will be revealed behind this magical door in Giddy Park. Finally, number 5 is relating to the Super Brains costume called Insecto Brains, which could have been obtained in the Lawn of Doom Festival. And if you take a look at this costume, you will see that the shoe of this costume is this little bug, and this is the Easter egg. So if we take a look at a previous variant of Super Brains called Cosmic Brains from Garden Warfare 2, you will notice that the shoe is extremely similar, so this is just a nice little reference to a previous game. So just before we finish the video, I just wanted to mention that I was suggested to make this video by one of my subscribers, so a big shout out to Kaya Holmes for not only giving me the idea, but also providing the information to help me find some of these easter eggs. I also had some help from Cake Mations and Splix, who again helped me find these easter eggs. Anyway guys, that's about it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, let me know what your favourite easter egg was in the comments below, and let me know if you have found any more that weren't included in this video. Other than that, remember to subscribe and I shall see you in the next one. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.
Bye.